coverage you can count on continues with Storm Team 10 meteorologist Everett Lau. Good Tuesday morning. You may want to allow a little extra time as you head out the door this morning because you'll probably find some frost on your windshield. Temperatures this morning right around the freezing mark in most parts of the Wabash Valley. 32 in Terre Haute and Brazil, also 32 in Robinson. It's 30 up in Paris and Rockville, 27 in Mattoon, and 31 down in Lagodi. Also, we have some fog out there this morning, especially farther to the north, but visibility is lowest right now in Paris. The Edgar County Airport reporting two miles of visibility, three in Effingham and Flora, four in Robinson, and five miles out at the airport in Terre Haute. So not quite as dense farther to the southeast, but as the wind lightens this morning, that fog may expand a little bit, so you may encounter some of that on your morning commute. Where that fog is expected to be most widespread, we do have a dense fog advisory for Coles and Edgar counties. That's going to be in effect until 11 o'clock central time. So we're expecting more clouds and foggy conditions this morning, kind of more of a gloomy start in the past couple days. But as we get into the afternoon, we are expecting the sun to return. By lunchtime, you can see some of those breaks in the clouds. And as we get into the afternoon, future cast clearing all the clouds out of here. So we should end the day on a sunny note and not going to be quite as breezy today as it was yesterday. Now, as we advance this forward into the overnight hours, we're expecting clouds to return. So tomorrow is going to be a partly sunny day. I still think we'll see the sun, but definitely more clouds overhead, although we do stay dry for the day on Wednesday. Precipitation chances over the next five days dry today, dry tomorrow, and while we do have a chance of rain on Thursday, most of the day should be dry. It's not until we get to the afternoon and then especially during the evening hours that we see that greatest chance for rain and then maybe a few isolated showers on Friday. We can time out when that rain moves through on Thursday. Again, the first half of the day should be fine. It's going to be cloudier on Thursday and it's going to be breezy. You'll definitely notice that, but as we get into the afternoon, we'll stop future cast at two. You can see the rain showers across central Illinois. It's not until we get into the late afternoon and evening that most of that rain makes it into the Wabash Valley. And if this timing holds, it moves out pretty fast. By 9 o'clock, most of the rain already pushing down to the southeast. So as of now, it looks like Thursday evening going to be the best chance for rain that we have. As for today, morning fog and clouds, then becoming sunny in the afternoon, highs in the upper 40s, so just a touch cooler than it was yesterday. That cloud cover will hold our temperatures pretty steady this morning. For tonight, dropping to 30 under a partly cloudy sky with just a light breeze. For the day tomorrow, 53, a little more of a mild day thanks to a wind out of the south, even though we'll have more clouds around. The seven-day forecast showing highs in the upper 50s on Thursday, lower 60s on Friday, so staying mild. First half of the weekend looks dry, but by Sunday we'll bring in another chance for some rain showers with highs in the upper 40s, cooling off a little bit more by Monday.